Minted fact. Step up and take your friends and family to Infowars.com, PrisonPlanet.tv and PlanetInfowars.com. The truth will set them free. In the near future. When you realize how fake it all is, the football, the security basketball. Alert. Security alert. This is Homeland Security. Analysis. Infowars building independent media operations. You let the worst people get controlled and tell us that we are the ones responsible. Prime Directive discredit Alex Jones. Jones is the wildly popular conspiracy theorist. It's a popular conspiracy theory talk show called Infowars. Alex Jones is now in an Austin jail. These people are assaulted. Targeting of patriots engaged. They are never going to stop. They're never going to deviate from their program until we stop them. Block free iPhone app at infowars.com. Block free podcast and video feed. Imperative destroy prison planet TV. You gotta set your eye on the enemy, not worry about what propaganda they put out intellectually. It's because you can feel it. I don't know what it is. Ralph just won't pay any attention to me. When he comes home from work, all he ever does is play video games and go to sleep. It's like I don't even exist. Oh, Betty, that's just awful. Does this seem familiar? If the answer to this question is yes, then listen carefully. Toxic pesticides, GMO foods and additives, BPA plastics, contaminated water supplies, many of these toxic additives are deliberately engineered to attack and weaken human masculinity. It's part of the eugenics population control movement. Look it up. If men are more interested in online gaming than they are in their wives. A serious population crisis is soon to follow. Energize the man in your life with super male vitality from InfoWarsLife.com. It's designed to aid the body in ways that help invigorate your natural systems without artificial testosterone, completely free of GMOs, harmful additives, gluten, and is made right here in the USA. Get your super male vitality right now at InfoWarsLife.com or call 1-888-253-3139. A chemical spill contaminating the water supply in nine West Virginia counties. This year alone, over 300,000 people in West Virginia had their drinking water contaminated. What are the health effects of having these drugs in our drinking water? It's forced medical treatment without the consent of residents. My friends, water filtration is one of the most basic actions you can take to protect you and your family from the harmful toxins and heavy metals in your tap water. On average, the county says it sprays with the glyphosate at least once a week. Few filters cut out the glyphosate that is found in water supply worldwide. Remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, hydrofluorosilicic acid, sodium hexafluorosilicate. Fluoride, it is in tea, it's in coffee, it's in water, it's in bread, it's in toothpaste. It is our responsibility to protect our families. The establishment's not going to do it. It's time to take action. It's time to filter our water. Visit InfoWarsStore.com and use promo code WATER to get 10% off their entire family of incredible products. Or call toll-free 888-253-3139. Coast to Coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. He aligns himself with the truth, and it's time for you to choose a side. You're listening to Alex Jones. My love is in lead. Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight. Now, Alex is going to be joining us at the in the next hour, at the top of the hour. At the bottom of the hour, we're going to take your calls about what he has to say, because we're going to be talking about the planned implosion of our economy and how the latest incidents of children in uncontrolled amounts coming across the border, how that endangers them and what it's going to do to our economy. And Alex is going to break that down for you. But before we get to that, I want to remind you that this hour of the Alex Jones Show is brought to you by Survival Shield X2, one of our new products, much stronger than regular Survival Shield through a unique manufacturing process that utilizes iodine sources from deep within the earth. A unique new process uses high purity grade of iodine from more than 7,000 feet below the Earth's surface, far below the Fukushima wave of radiation. Now, it's extracted from an ancient salt solution that yields a powerful and uncontaminated 650 micrograms of iodine per single drop. Tested with radiation readings at the labs to ensure freedom from Fukushima radiation, it's developed proprietary technology to create nascent iodine, and it continues to pioneer our products in potency, quality, and purity. That's available at InfoWarsLife.com. 
You can go to uh, InfoWarsStore.com to get to there, or you can go directly to InfoWarsLife.com. And our phone number is 888-253-3139. Protect yourself, protect your family, and support our operation here. Now, just before the break, we were talking about this case in Florida where this man comes back to his truck and he finds it's totally been vandalized. And all he finds is this little handwritten note from the police saying that they thought they smelled something funny. He says, I come from outside, I jump in the truck, and the whole thing's been torn apart inside. Wires have been yanked out. The paneling had some scratches on it. One could think that it was a burglar who had been inside his truck, writes the uh, Yahoo article here. But he says it was the police, and Heller did not know it was because, knew that because they left a note saying what they did. They said that a uh, canine officer thought that he smelled something. So that gave them reason to trash his truck. He says it's used for his business. It's his whole life savings. It's his marketing tool as well as his transportation. He promotes uh, his product, which is air horns. He said nothing was working. All of the electronics were ripped out. And of course, they didn't charge him with anything because they didn't find any marijuana. They just did it on suspicion. Now, when they complained about it, the Tampa Police Department said, well, the search is legal, but it's not typical. No, it's not legal. It's not legal. The Fourth Amendment says that if you want to search somebody's person, place, property, you get a order from the judge to do so. You go before a judge before you break and enter, whether that's a car or a house. What if they started doing that to houses? I'm sure they, they will. We get no-knock raids from SWAT teams. People get killed regularly because of those no-knock no raids. We need to get upset about this because you know what? It's not just this fellow's truck. It's our rights. Our rights are property as well. It's not just that his truck was trashed and destroyed. We have rights, those fundamental rights, those God-given rights that are specifically recognized and Restrictions are put on the government to keep them from destroying these rights that we possess as human beings, and yet our government routinely is destroying and trashing those rights just like they broke in and destroyed this guy's truck. Now, of course, this was on Yahoo, and it was in the odd news section. I wish it was odd news. I wish it was something that was really unusual. No, it's not unusual. It's just illegal. It's just the opposite of what the Tampa Police Department said. Now, as I mentioned, Alex is going to be joining us at the top of the hour. Uh, he's going to talk about what's, what's going on with the larger picture of what we see happening. But there were a couple of articles that came out on Drudge this last week that I think put together, they really show a, a pattern of behavior that we've been talking about for a long time, that the Bilderberg Group and others have been talking about for a long time. The first one here, 37.2% are not in the labor force. It remains at a 36-year high. This is 92 million people that are not working right now. Now, of course, they'd like to play games with these unemployment figures. They say that if you're without a job for a certain period of time, you've just dropped out of the labor force, and we're not going to include you anymore in that. And yet... That's, and then, of course, they're also constantly, every quarter, revising the unemployment figures, always doing so in a way to make it look as, thing, as if things are trending up. This is a story from uh, cnsnews.com, and they point out that this is the lowest labor force participa participation that we have right now in 36 years at no time during the presidencies of Ronald Reagan, George H.W. Bush, Bill Clinton, or George W. Bush did such a small percentage of the civilian, non-institutional population hold a job or seek one. They say that when Obama took office in 2009, that number was at 65.7%. At the beginning of his second term, it had dropped from 65.7 to 63.6. And now it is at 62.8%. So why is it that we don't have employment? Why is it dropping? Well, there's a lot of reasons. One of them is, of course, Obamacare. Obamacare is making all businesses, especially the smaller businesses where most of the job growth comes from, they're making them very much afraid to hire people because of the added costs that are going to come with each employee. They have reduced the number of hours to, to define what a full-time employee is raise the cost of insurance for people. And if you don't want to, so of course they're not hiring people and, and not giving them as many hours, taking them down so that they are part-time employees. And if you as an individual 
want to opt out of this because you don't want to pay more to the insurance companies to get less coverage. And that's what's happening because it was the insurance companies that wrote this. This is not being done for the benefit of the individuals out there. This is something's being done for the benefit of these large insurance companies that donated so much money to the politicians. But if you want to opt out of that, there's an article on Roll Call uh, back on June 6th that said that there's going to be, they're estimating that it's going to be an additional $4 billion in revenue for the government just from taxing people who opt out of the system. Now, the headline that was on the Roll Call article, I think, was pretty amazing because they called it the shrinking Obamacare individual mandate. There's nothing shrinking about that. What shrunk was there's nothing shrinking about his mandates. And, and why should we be having presidential mandates about how we, how, what kind of health insurance we have? Of course, we've said this over and over again. But here's the thing. The Congressional Budget Office went through and said, well, we think that it's going to be not 6 million people who would rather pay a tax than to pay these confiscatory insurance uh, premiums that are being mandated on them by the insurance companies and their puppets in the government. You know, forcing young single males to buy maternity insurance, that type of thing. Insurance that you don't need, insurance that you can't use. And then paying more for your deductibles, paying several times what you were before in premiums. They think that the number of people that are going to opt out of that is dropping from 6 million to 4 million. So the headline they put in here is the shrinking Obamacare individual mandate. There's nothing about the mandate that's shrinking. It's just their particular estimate. But now they're still estimating that it's going to be $4 billion in revenue. So if they're estimating that 4 million people are going to opt out and they're going to get an additional $4 billion in revenue, that's about $1,000 per person on average. And, of course, Obama said he wasn't going to uh, raise taxes on anybody that was making less than 250000 a year. And he said, you're not going to see any form of tax increase, not your income tax, not your payroll tax, not your capital gains tax, not any of your taxes. And he said that multiple times, as we pointed out. So there's a lot about just the Obamacare mandates that are going to take down our economy. But this is where it really, really comes in. And that is on the immigration front. Now, on the immigration front, we see news articles this last week about all these children that are being encouraged to come to North America. They're being told in Central America, go to America with your child. You won't be turned away. That's what the mothers are telling the reporters. And, of course, they're coming into uh, Texas. They're coming into Arizona. Arizona actually is getting the overflow of Texas. Most of them are coming into Texas. And the Arizona governor, Jan Brewer, said she was disturbed on Friday and outraged after she was told by the federal government that they're going to be, in her words, dumping immigrants on them, a thousand children right away. We're going to be back. We're going to have more information on this. And we're going to break down what it's going to do to break down our country. You can't have a welfare state and open borders at the same time. We'll be right back. In the last 50 years, iodine has been phased out of our staple foods and replaced with the halogen bromine, a practice now banned in nations around the world. Guess what else is in the halogen family? Fluoride. Ladies and gentlemen, Alex Jones here. In 1924, the federal government did the right thing and encouraged salt producers to add iodine. It's the good halogen on the periodic table. And the results are on record, reports documented, a 15-point IQ increase in areas that had previously been deficient in iodine. Bottom line, iodine is important. Unbound, clean, in a glycerin base, nascent iodine was the answer for myself and my family. You will find Survival Shield nascent iodine exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com. InfoWars Life Survival Shield nascent iodine isn't just for emergencies. I take it every day. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. This is Scottish John for Infowars.com. I know that most of you here in this commercial already know about the New World Order, eugenics, and all the other issues covered here at Infowars. The question is, do your friends and family know? If not, then I want to know why. Oh, I know it's tough to talk about this with some people. They might call you names, or they just want to talk about sports, or soap operas. I say, so what? There's a battle going on out there right now. The ammunition is information, and the soldiers are you. It's time to transform your game from passive listening 
listener to Active Participant. We from Scotland have had our skin in this game for the greater part of the last thousand years. And I'm still fighting. If we don't all stand up right now, we're going to lose everything. The Infowar is worldwide. Tell your friends about Infowars and let them know that Infowars doesn't print bull. It's real journalism and news backed up by documents.